All right, Florida State takes on Syracuse in just over 24 hours. We've got some injury news. We want to talk a little bit of recruiting, um, give you some ranking updates, um, give you a little betting insight, and maybe one more thing on this video today. But we will be brief. We'll be quick. Usually we do these live on Fridays, but I am literally at the Magic Kingdom right now. And so hopefully you enjoy this quick recorded version of our Friday Live. Uh, less tangents, less chances for me to get distracted by Super Chats and other things. If you'd like to support the show, there is a link in the description. Some injury news up front. I've heard mixed things on a couple of guys. Johnny Wilson is one that I wouldn't necessarily expect to see get a ton of action, if any at all, this weekend. Um, I know they didn't practice at least uh, Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Would be pretty surprised if you saw him out there. Um, talked about that a little bit on our preview show Wednesday night, but Johnny Wilson is one that I'd kind of watch out for. Uh, I don't think Florida State necessarily needs his services out there. Uh, I would make sure that he's 100%, rest him if you need to, and move on. Some questions around the cornerbacks. I, I've heard mixed things about both Renardo Green and uh, Greedy Vance. Um, one missing practice one day, another uh, just some questions around maybe a little tweak. I would be pretty surprised if both of them missed the game, but I wouldn't be shocked if one or the other did not play in the game on Saturday. Now, I'd love to have Renardo and Greedy both out there. I think it's important. You're a lot better than this Syracuse team, but you don't necessarily want to be playing a bunch of guys that are way down on the depth chart. Uh, through the whole thing, you've seen other teams, weaker teams than us, uh, take advantage of that. And so uh, hopefully Greedy and Renardo both out there. I like Jarian Jones. I like Fintrell a lot. I think you'd be fine there um, with – with, um, you know, some other help there at corner. Obviously, Azurea is doing a great job out there. And you've got some guys I think can play that nickel position for you. But you'd like to have Greedy out there if you could. And, and obviously, Renardo's probably been one of your better corners, if not your best corner so far this year. So something to monitor. I like where the offensive line's at. I think Dent's good. I, I think there's a lot of positives there. Uh, but wide receiver, cornerback, something to maybe monitor, something to maybe look at. Um, listen, I don't know if you guys are on the Prize Picks app, but the Prize Picks app finally did come out with their um, some of their lines for Florida State. Jordan Travis is at 242.5 passing. Um, I think I like the more on that. Trey Benson's at 78.5 yards rushing. I definitely like the more on that. He might get that in one rush. Um, and then Keon's at 67.5 receiving. I would not be shocked if he goes more there, but I kind of like the less just thinking about the fact that I think this ball gets spread around. Now, why that's dangerous is if Johnny doesn't play, he's certainly going to hit the more. So I think I like the more on all three of them. Maybe I'm just a homer thinking that Florida State just runs this thing up this weekend. I don't like Syracuse's defense. Um, last week, I grabbed Jordan Travis's uh, less on interceptions. It was set at 0.5. He never even had a close to a turnover-worthy play. Um, so something to watch out for if you're using the Prize Picks app. If you already have an account, go use our code DFNS. Get $100 uh, up to $100 uh, match, 100% match up to $100. Prize Picks is phenomenal. Again, if you already have an account, go create a new one and use our code DFNS. All right, quick recruiting update. We'll do a more full recruiting update as its own video after the weekend, but a lot of guys committed to FSU uh, saw their rankings change with the new 247 rankings that came out. Um, a lot of them bumped down uh, shockingly, and I say shockingly somewhat uh, facetiously. The guys in those 247 do a great job. They don't have any impact over the rankings, but a ton of guys bumped down not really sure what that's all about but one piece of good news is i did see luke Cromenhawk officially a five star on the on three industry rankings he's phenomenal so it's great to see that um sent him a message tonight he was super gracious and super thankful for uh, being moved up uh, at the end of the day. I don't think he cares too much about the specific ranking, but he's put a lot of hard work in. Shout out to Mike Norvell on the eval there. 
went from a no star to a five star uh, in the time that Mike has been recruiting him. That is ridiculous. I do like the on three industry rankings slightly more than I like the two, four, seven composite, just because I think it devalues the rivals and ESPN a little bit more. Um, but I guess that's just kind of preference. So whatever you like there more, but yeah, on three industry, five star Luke Croman Hawk. All right, this weekend, the Knowles take on Syracuse. Richie and I did a full preview on the game on Wednesday night, but we forgot to do predictions. So shout out to Noel Gifts on Twitter for calling us out. I'm going to show you Richie's prediction, then I'm going to give mine. But just before that, there is so much smoke right now around LJ McRae, Jeremiah Smith, and others that the Knowles are in on. Those are two top 10 players, according to On3. They are incredibly highly rated and Jeremiah Smith, the commit to Ohio State. You guys know about him. LJ McCray, uh, kid out of Daytona Beach. He's a top, one of the best defensive linemen in the country. A freak athlete. Long thought this was a Florida-Georgia battle. The more and more and more that comes out, it seems like Florida State's kind of making their presence known in this recruitment. We've woken up a little bit on this recruitment, and uh, I don't know if it's enough to put Florida State over the top, but I do know that just about a week out from his commitment, a week and a day, it seems like the Knowles are picking up some steam. We'll see if it's enough to overtake UF, who I've always thought was the leader for him. Jeremiah Smith, the, the conversation around him still continues to be, I'm committed, but if there was any school that could flip me, it would be Florida State. And that's what Will Fong, that's what others have said. Uh, I've gotten some intel. We've put some stuff in our Discord about this. Go check out our Discord. It's free uh, to join. The link is in the description. All right, so here is Richie's prediction for the game tomorrow. Since TGA and I forgot to give you our score predictions last night on our live show, let's get right at it. Florida State up to an 18-point favorite here against Syracuse, hosting them orange in Dope Campbell Stadium. I really don't think this one's going to be close. I like Florida State a lot. I think Florida State comes out. They start fast, and they're not looking to cover, uh, but they will. I, I think this is a game where it's something like 45-17. to 17. Florida State is going to steamroll Syracuse. I think they move on to 6 no bowl eligible in mid-October and on to next week against Duke. Florida State wins, Florida State covers, and Knowles uh, Nation, we keep riding high. As for what I think will happen, I, I'm similar to Richie here. I, I think the Knowles win this comfortably. They kind of win it going away. Wouldn't shock me at all if Syracuse came out and had some success with some of their scripted stuff. Um, wouldn't shock me at all if this is like a 7-7 game or a 10-7 game at the end of the first quarter. I'm not saying the Knowles score you know, 20 points in the quarter to, to be blowing them out, 21-0 or anything like that. Um, Trader's obviously good with his legs, good running the ball. Would not, again, surprise me at all if Florida State gives up a touchdown early, settles in, goes to the half up like, I don't know, 24 to 10, 27 to 10, somewhere in there, maybe just 28 to 10, we'll, we'll take a, a field goal away. But I think they go into the half pretty comfortable, and then they kind of salt it away from there. Florida State maybe opens up the half with a touchdown, gets a stop, scores again, and your score at that point is like 42 to 10. You get some of the other guys out. You get some young guys in, get them some rotation, some reps. You get them kind of going. I think Florida State could – I'm going to predict just under the 50, but I'm going to go – sorry, Ryan Fitzgerald, my guy, um, for not picking any field goals here, but I'm going to go 49 to 17. I know that's pretty close to Richie's score. I think they get a garbage time. You know what? I'll even, I'll even change that up. I'll say 49 to 20. Um, they get a garbage time score or two to make it seem a little bit better, but the Noel, it's never in question. It's never in doubt. The Noles are by far the better team. Um, the score itself is indicative of the beatdown that's going to come. Uh, at the hands of the Florida State Seminoles, who beat Syracuse 49 to 20, final score on Saturday. Listen, we didn't go live today. We may go live after the game tomorrow. Um, we'll see, though. Don't take any, not 100% guarantee on that one. I want to watch some of the other games that are going on. Maybe we'll jump on for 10, 15 minutes, chat about it, chat about getting to 6 and 0, bowl eligible. That's a fun one. Florida State didn't do that until, what, week nine last year. Um, didn't do it the year before that at all. So 
cool to uh, cool to try and get that under our belts tomorrow um, noon kickoff. ABC, Florida State, Syracuse. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, sorry we weren't live today at the Magic Kingdom with the kids, so hopefully this sufficed. Uh, I'm sure you guys will be blowing me up in the Discord about me taking a day off, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you support the show or join the Discord or Patreon or whatever. We'd love to interact with you more than just here on YouTube, but we appreciate you guys. We thank you for all the support. We'll talk to you soon. Go Knowles.